Hey guys, welcome back to Glitch. When we last left off, we had our introduction to the game and we killed a load of millbots. Let's continue. Mill mines, do or die. Excellent names for these levels as well, I must say. Now, I want that freaking gun Glitch is carrying there. That is quite the animal. And I cannot wait to start getting some of these more powerful weapons. Oof. Yeah. Glitch. We just got a flatline signal from hosed and screwed. No time for tears. You're on your own for now. Get the hell to the other side pronto. Try finding a weapon to cut those wires. <laughs> you know, I freaking love the humor in this game. No time for tears. Indeed. Right, let's make short work of this fella, if we can. Fuck. Gun's overheated. Or... Run out of charge. Either or. Ooh, no. That health pack just literally landed in the lava. Not bad. Right. Ripper. This weapon's cool. Um, though its saw blades have little effect on enemy energy levels, they do inflict massive limb damage and can also slice steel cables. Yeah. Uh, this weapon is really cool. It doesn't really kill enemies very fast, but it can disable them really quickly, which is nice, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're on it, Alloy. We're on it. We're on it. We're on it. Every time I think of Alloy, I think of Aloy from bloody uh, Horizon. Anyway, there we go. Let's grab up this. Slice our way to victory using these cables. I have to say, this game runs really nice on the Wii U. It really does. Okay, cool. Now, we don't have anything back here, do we? There's the wire that we uh, used to actually get here. Cool. Now, one good thing about the laser is it is very accurate. It's not the most accurate weapon, but it's pretty good. We'll get weapons later on. Ah, his gun's actually disabled now. Eh, 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 eh. Yeah, we've pretty much screwed these guys up their guns are just flailing around although you can't really tell too easily because the game's such low resolution but anyway onwards glitch right first port of cool uh bugger well we did not mean to fall down there but okay i oh, got some more coring charges Ooh, dude that's unfortunate yeah, we disabled him. Now, the gr the actual coring charges have a massive, massive blast range. Uh, it's way bigger than the actual explosion radius looks. So, bear that in mind. Because that will certainly work against us at some point. Anyway, let's get the ripper out. Let's shoot this down. Now, we could just go down there. And, uh, you know, go straight into the enemy rooms ahead of us but we really don't want to do that so what we can do is come up here and we can go through the vents like a stinking xenomorph uh, and that's preferable because there's actually quite a lot of cool stuff to find in these vents to be honest if we can just take these little uh metal slats out well that sucked there we go one more should do it there we go all right good enough oh you son of a yeah, I actually said the jumping in this game is pretty good, and it is, but not perfect. Right, so secondary battery installed. Glitch's energy capacity has been doubled. Install additional batteries to live longer. Yes, indeed. Uh, we're going to want to find all the batteries. I th think they're fairly easy to find. Right, we've got a new weapon. We have the spew. A spew, a stolen mill, small projectile, emitter weapon, retrofitted for droid use. Yeah, this weapon's pretty good. It's a machine gun. We're going to be leaning pretty heavily onto this gun. Uh, now, there's a hidden chip here, which we're going to grab just because. There's no reason not grabbing it, I guess. Some health, not going to worry about that. Four through five. Right, lots of bullets. Now, unfortunately, with this gun, we can only hold 360 rounds. Uh, that's not a lot. We will burn through this ammo crazy fast. Right, okay. There's a prisoner. He was going to follow us uh, to his death now. 
Um, yeah, your allies are pretty good. They're extra firepower. There's no point in not having them if you can. Right, now, we want to be a little bit smart about this, scurrying around in these uh, vents. Ah, yes. Now, you can see we can go through there, but we're going to be a little bit smarter than that. We're going to keep going. Just about here, and we can see there's another ripper. Ripper is a pretty juicy weapon. Well, I mean, it's useful when it's useful. It's useful. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's fair. Okay. All right, let's crack this open. Target that noise. Uh, oh, God. Our friend Reno just shit his pants behind us. Damn, that does happen. What the hell? Good night. Yeah, that's gonna rattle some cages. Now, ammo in this game, from what I can remember, doesn't re-spawn. Uh, so, if you pick up an ammo pickup, that's it. It's gone. Ammo is very finite in this game. You know what we're gonna do. We could be a sneaky little sneak, but you know what? Fuck that noise. Let's just go in hard and heavy. Nades out. Ooh, yes. Smell that burning oil. Lovely. Keep those fresh magazines coming. Ooh, hello. Oh, that was good. That was good. That's why you're paid the big bucks glitch. Okay, we've pretty much herded them all out now. Ooh. Stuck that up his ass and pulled the trigger. Well... He's not getting back up. Now, you want us to have a good look around these areas as well because ammo is... Well, ammo and health, really, are scattered pretty much everywhere. And you always want to try and make sure you're topped off as much as you can be. You can destroy pretty much... Uh, I wouldn't say everything, but you can destroy a lot of stuff. Oh, hey, friend. Target that noise. Yeah, target that dick. Oh, we seriously fucked him up. And we're back outside. Cool. Now, we can go down here. Yeah. Which is the way you're kind of supposed to. There is a ripper there. And uh, just some health. Now, as we level our weapons up in the game, uh, they will hold more ammo. Which is nice. Because, uh, as you can kind of already see, ammo doesn't last long. Especially with weapons such as the spew. It's kind of crazy just how quick you can burn through your entire stack uh lots of health scattered away uh yep away in there yep um there is some nice pickups up here if i remember correctly command glitch now as i said the jumping isn't bad but it can be a little bit wishy-washy but there we go. there's plenty of ammo up here and there's more coring charges we're not actually going to come back here so sure we'll pick it up all right, boys, or boy, I guess. You ready to move on? Ooh. This looks delicious. Now, this room in particular on the Xbox 360, yeah, it's a slideshow. It's an absolute slideshow. It doesn't run smooth on the GameCube. Now, just because we're playing this on a Wii U doesn't mean we get any enhanced performance or anything. Uh, the Wii U does, like, underclock itself. Right, morning boys, to GameCube kind of uh, horsepower levels, so, you know, if it lags up on the GameCube, it's going to lag up here. Now, what I like about these droids, oh no, he's broke my gun, he's broke my gun, but we're dead. But that's okay, we can just, as long as there are droids in this room, we can keep going back in and taking control. This guy has the max level spew cannon, which is really nice. He also has unlimited ammo, which is even nicer. We also have a coring charge. Oh, I shot his hat off. <laughs> Next. Whoa. That was unfortunate. Literally just had uh, a fuel barrel explode next to us. Explosions in this game are absolutely freaking lethal, man. You want to keep your head down. As much as you can. That thing just blew up right next to us. Oh, my God. This Gatling gun is lethal. Get a coring charge in there. Whoa. 
sent them packing. Okay, what well, we there's us there. Lel. Yeah, so on the PS2 version of this game, uh, you won't get 60 FPS. Alright, you won't. Forget it. Um, if you're lucky, you might get 30 FPS if nothing's actually happening. Uh, and you, the, like, the visual downgrade is just painful as well. So, uh, like, yeah, as I said, the PS2 version is last resort. Like, if you literally cannot play it any other way. I guess the PS2 is acceptable, but the GameCube is very good. But obviously, if you if you wanna the best experience, grab yourself an OG Xbox because that's the system it was designed for. Now we can't pick that up unless we're actually glitch, as you can see here. Okay, so let's go do some damage with our body. Yes, that is why we can take control of a droid. Notice that the security. Is pretty tight around here. There's a lot of locked doors. Well, we're the key. And uh, let's go find ourselves a lock, shall we? Here we go. Alright, well, you don't want to live forever now, do we? Ugh. Ooh, damn, son. What a mess. Yeah, there are a lot more particle effects uh, on the on the Xbox. Quite noticeably so, actually. Morning, boys. Welcome to the party. No running, kids. Ah, this is a friendly fire. This will literally double our firepower. It will fire with whatever weapon that we're currently using. Just a shame we're not using something with a little bit more um, firepower. But hey, there's plenty of little power-ups like this. We have him. Uh, we can also get like a portable shield. We can get like running shoes as well. Like little lightning bolts that make us move faster. We are really running out of health there. We need to seriously thin the herd out. We've got our one little buddy there doing what he can. But you can see the frame rate. The frame rate is all over the place. It's it's not a pleasant experience. Uh, so you, you can only imagine what the 360 is like. You know, when I did look it up, there were people saying that the 360 version runs up. Oh no, we just killed our friend. There are people saying that it runs absolutely fine on the 360. Uh, I, you know, some people just don't notice frame rates. I, I don't know how, like, I find it, personally, is one of the most off-putting things in gaming. You know, when you're literally playing a game at five frames a second, I've seen people defend that, and no, no. I mean, Devil's Third. There's a lot of people that defend Devil's Third. Uh, that game didn't run. That game wasn't fluid by any, you know, sense of the word. That was literally uh, a, a collection of, oh shit. That game was a PowerPoint presentation, basically. It's the only way I can describe that. Okay. Uh, at least this game attempts to, uh, you know, do something different. Yeah, it's a very pretty game. There we go. For the time, obviously. Whereas Devil's Third is just like a steaming, rancid pile of dog shit. Let's go. Hit the button and free all of our friendorinos. Oh, God. These things. Yeah, I forgot about these. Uh, I think that's my subconscious. These things suck. They will strip your health away ridiculously fast. They are nasty. You can see that little attack he just did to us took almost a quarter of our energy down. Alright. Not bad, guys. Not bad. You can see our friends are literally kicking ass and taking names. Wow, they did a lot of damage there, actually. Not bad, boys. Not bad. Have we got any crates of ammo or health laying around? Well, we don't need health, but we could certainly use a bit of an ammo top-up. 
That's where we saved our first uh, friend earlier on in the game. Uh, actually, we'll be fine. We've got plenty of coring charges. Let's just move on. Let's get out of here. Uh, that's not the way we want to go, but there is a coring charge there. So, why the hell not? Yeah, these textures really are quite a bit better on the Xbox, but... Like I say, it's not the end of the world. Oh, God. We literally shredded that guy. Now, you'll notice as well, these troops are a little bit better than screwed and hosed. Screwed and hosed were armed with mining lasers. These have all got spews, so they're significantly more lethal. And they got lots of balls as well. Jumping from a height like that. Okay. Let's have a good... Yeah, uh, General Alloy says that, but you actually don't have a time limit to do this. You can like do this in your own leisure, which is good, because you want to grab every single washer you actually can. Because you can't grind for money in this game. Okay? If you miss uh, some money, that money is, is, you know, always missed. You can't go back and get it later. So... You know, maximize those profits, people. Maximize every washer. Because we're going to need a lot of money. We really are. There's lots of weapons to buy and lots of weapons to upgrade. Now, a lot of upgrades and weapons you can get for free. But not all of them. Okay, cool. Right, there should be a little bit more money. Actually... Remember, we opened this door up here as well, which opened one of the secret chips. There we go. We couldn't collect it uh, whilst we was playing as that controlled millbot, but we can collect it. You don't want to get too close to him, because if you do, uh, the mission actually ends. Dude, what's going on here? You're like moonwalking. I'm going to make sure you've collected pretty much every washer. Might sound petty. But every washer counts, kids. Kind of like in Ratchet and Clank, you know. Money in those games was never an issue because you could always grind it out. Alright, buddy. Oh, let's go. Ooh. Yeah, you didn't think it was going to be that easy, did you? There we go. Mill mines. Do or die complete. So we actually missed a secret chip there. Never mind. Uh, I might do these level by level. I can't actually remember how long the levels do become as the game goes on. Uh, what are we on? We're on nearly... Ah, 18 minutes, man. That's pretty weak source. Fuck it. Let's go. We should have time to do another mission. The only reason I say is because there's only... You can only save this game... Um, at the beginning of each mission. So if we get halfway through a mission, we run out of time or something, you can't save it. Mm -hmm. Oh no! So actually, on that note, I am going to do one level per video. Just because things could get tricky down the line otherwise. So, I hope you enjoyed this game, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, till next time.